I have here the 2019 Pinot Noir Zweigel. This is a winemaker's blend, and the intention of this is to take two parts and create one wine that may be actually greater than the, than the actual parts themselves. So this wine includes Pinot Noir that is all finesse driven, it's light, it's aromatic, and you have Zweigel. Zweigel itself is a little bit tannic, but it's dark and it has some rich dark berry characteristics. You blend the two together and they form the missing puzzle pieces that they wouldn't have on their own. So this wine from 2019, it tends to be light acid driven. It works well with food. Uh, it's a diverse red wine that doesn't overwhelm any food and yet it pairs well with just about anything. I recommend just trying it on its own or just getting experimental, trying it out with pork, try it out with light meats and just see where, where it goes. I have here the 2020 Tribute Barrel Fermented Chardonnay. This Chardonnay was made in a barrel fermented style. It's something that we haven't done in the last few years. We felt it was time to bring it back. Uh, barrel fermented Chardonnay is something that has lost a little bit of popularity lately, but in my opinion, it's something that really shouldn't. It's, it's a really rich, fun wine. It's something I love to make. It's something that actually works well with food. You just need to pair it appropriately. You know, whether that is, you know, something more like a pork or, or a richer fish. Uh, I go with a lot of different foods. But frankly, I like to enjoy Chardonnay on its own. People sometimes worry about the oakiness. I like what it brings out in terms of just the palate in general. So we aged this wine for 10 months in barrel, stirring it constantly just to help bring out that sort of almost sweetness, even though the wine is completely dry. It makes for a fun wine to sit there and dissect. Uh, it's something I enjoy and it's one of my favorite wines at Good Harbor. The 2019 Dry Riesling it's something that can pair well with a lot of foods, but it really shows the diversity of Riesling. Riesling can be just about anything. It can be sweet and it can be dry. The dry styles really hold up well against food. Because of that acidity, they can hold up well against kind of oilier, fattier, richer foods. Uh, they go well with spicier foods as well. They have really interesting citrus notes and it really lends well to, uh, to an interesting and diverse meat.